In information theory and computer science, the Lebensstein distance is a string metric for measuring the difference between two sequences. Informally, the Lebensstein distance between two words is the minimum number of single character edits required to change one word into the other. It is named after Vladimir Lebensstein, who considered this distance in 1965. Lebensstein distance may also be referred to as edit distance, although that may also denote a larger family of distance metrics. It is closely related to pairwise string alignments. Definition Mathematically, the Lebensstein distance between two strings is given by where. Where is the indicator function equal to zero when and equal to one otherwise? Note that the first element in the minimum corresponds to deletion, the second to insertion and the third to match or mismatch, depending on whether the respective symbols are the same. Example, for example, the Lebensstein distance between kitten and sitting is three, since the following three edits change one into the other, and there is no way to do it with fewer than three edits, kitten a sitten, sitten a sitten, sitten a sitting. Upper and lower bounds, the Lebensstein distance has several simple upper and lower bounds. These include, it is always at least the difference of the sizes of the two strings. It is at most the length of the longer string. It is zero if and only if the strings are equal. If the strings are the same size, the Hamming distance is an upper bound on the Lebensstein distance. The Lebensstein distance between two strings is no greater than the sum of their Lebensstein distances from a third string. Applications In approximate string matching, the objective is to find matches for short strings in many longer texts, in situations where a small number of differences is to be expected. The short strings could come from a dictionary, for instance. Here, one of the strings is typically short, while the other is arbitrarily long. This is a wide range of applications, for instance, spell checkers, correction systems for optical character recognition, and software to assist natural language translation based on translation memory. The Lebensstein distance can also be computed between two longer strings, but the cost to compute it, which is roughly proportional to the product of the two string lengths, makes this impractical. Thus, when used to aid in fuzzy string searching in applications such as record linkage, the compared strings are usually short to help improve speed of comparisons. Relationship with other edit distance metrics There are other popular measures of edit distance, which are calculated using a different set of allowable edit operations. For instance, the Damer or Euro Lebensstein distance allows insertion, deletion, substitution, and the transposition of two adjacent characters. The longest common subsequence metric allows only insertion and deletion, not substitution. The Hamming distance allows only substitution, hence, it only applies to strings of the same length. Edit distance is usually defined as a parameterizable metric calculated with a specific set of allowed edit operations and each operation is assigned a cost. This is further generalized by DNA sequence alignment algorithms such as the smyther euro waterman algorithm, which make an operation's cost depend on where it is applied. Computing Lebensstein distance, recursive, this is a straightforward, but inefficient, recursive pseudocode implementation of a Lebensstein distance function that takes two strings, S and T, together with their lengths, and returns the Lebensstein distance between them. Unfortunately, this straightforward recursive implementation is very inefficient because it recomputes the Lebensstein distance of the same substrings many times. A more efficient method would never repeat the same distance calculation. For example, the Lebensstein distance of all possible prefixes might be stored in an array D where D, I, J is the distance between the first i characters of string s and the first j characters of string t. The table is easy to construct one row at a time starting with row 0. When the entire table has been built, the desired distance is d, len s, len t. While this technique is significantly faster, it will consume len s len t more memory than the straightforward recursive implementation. Iterative with full matrix. Note. This section uses one-based strings instead of zero-based strings. Computing the Lebensstein distance is based on the observation that if we reserve a matrix to hold the Lebensstein distances between all prefixes of the first string and all prefixes of the second, 
then we can compute the values in the matrix in a dynamic programming fashion, and thus find the distance between the two full strings as the last value computed. This algorithm, an example of bottom-up dynamic programming, is discussed, with variants, in the 1974 article The String-to-String -String Correction Problem by Robert A. Wagner and Michael J. Fisher. This is a straightforward pseudocode implementation for a function Levenstein distance that takes two strings, s of length m, and t of length n, and returns the Levenstein distance between them. Note that this implementation does not fit the definition precisely, it always prefers matches, even if insertions or deletions provided a better score. This is equivalent. It can be shown that for every optimal alignment there is another optimal alignment that prefers matches in the sense of this implementation. Two examples of the resulting matrix. The invariant maintained throughout the algorithm is that we can transform the initial segment S, 1i, into T, 1j, using a minimum of D, i, j, operations. At the end, the bottom right element of the array contains the answer. Iterative with two matrix rows, it turns out that only two rows of the table are needed for the construction if one does not want to reconstruct the edited input strings. The Levenstein distance may be calculated iteratively using the following algorithm. See also References External links, Levenstein in post Dreskel, Black, Paul E., ed., Levenstein distance, Dictionary of Algorithms and Data Structures, online, U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology, retrieved April 3, 2013 a.